to Ben TV, and today we'll be interviewing a famous tech decker. He's an amateur from Pennsylvania. His name is Josh Solaric. So, Josh, when did you start tech decking? When I was 24, and my wall. I think when I first moved down to Texas. You know, I just I got a white elephant, four pack of tech decks. You know, can we see what boys? I just exploded from there. Can we, can we see what boys are rocking right now? I'm rocking a generic right now. <laughs> What's that? It's a non name brand tech deck. <laughs> now it might give me a name brand tech deck soon. It actually does make a big difference, tech deck brand. So starting out, you might want to get yourself a um, tech deck brand. Now that's my little sister. What's your best advice for someone who just wants to kind of have fun? First, true or false? Okay, here's what I would say. Just get yourself a tech deck. I love doing it first. Just go out there and have some fun, you know, and create, create stuff out of nowhere. All right, wow. Boom. Funny. Uh, so, like, when was your first real big tournament you skated in? Probably against my brother. I think just... I heard that guy's pretty cool, pretty pretty awesome. Basic street... Break it street cred. Not really That's just basic street cred I heard. Not, not really me, but... I, I, personally, I think he would tell you that. <laughs> no. I think with some cool players off the well, block. The filmer right there is my brother. <laughs> no. Quit. All right. So, um, when's when? What was your first board that you ever got? It was a four pack of. Dark Star. Well, he was trying to Dark Star. Um, I like those two. What would you say the best tech they can get is? Me? Like brand, like an Organica, Flip, or whatever. I haven't had a big variety, but try not to get a birdhouse. I don't like those that don't hold up too good. Dark Stars, I think they hold up pretty good. Organicas, pretty good. Flips, I think they're pretty good. Um, yeah! Chocolate and, Horsies, too! You know, Maybe a chocolate. I think chocolates look pretty good. But my advice to you is try not to get the four packs, but the one pack, because the four packs just come with four like complete skateboards. But the one pack comes with a skateboard and then has like um, different color wheels and has stickers. But the main thing is it has a tool. Now the tool is very helpful. Because if you got a four pack and like one's getting messed up, it's really hard to fix. But if you got a one pack, that tool's right there. Boom. Fix it up, go set it up. Alright, thank you, sir. Um, well, that's really it. Um, well, just coming from you, coming from your aspect, what is the best trick to you? To me? Yeah. Probably just a single trick? Yeah, just a single trick. Maybe a laser flip. Alright, well, thank you, sir. Thank you, Pam. Thank you for coming in here, and thank you for talking to the young people out there. I'm sure they're very inspired by what you talk to them, and I hope we start having big skaters come around now, big tech techers. Get out there, and I'm God's with you, and boom, push it up. And it's probably pretty fun to do when it's rainy outside. You and can't really he's skate. Up the stairs. Yes. Yes. And last question. This is from an email address, Tiny Lizard 500. Um, what is your idea on a tech deck poser? As we drove from the airport, I don't think there's a tech deck poser. <laughs> yes, there is. I think people be hating on them. Well, maybe if they got a little generic or <laughs> generic. And if they were just generic. Like this one, it is a little bit Alright, thank you, sir. His father